Hey guys, what's happening? So for me to get this car back on the road, um, you know, I had previously torn apart the Ofna, and the differentials didn't have any fluid in them. Uh, well, at least it was, I, it leaked out or they put the wrong stuff in there, but it wasn't, there's was no diff fluid, so I'm a little concerned that these ones don't have fluid too, so I finally got the oil that came in and some seals, the diff seals, um, for Mugen, a couple bucks for the pack. And I wanted to double check and make sure there was actually fluid in these things before I uh, put this on the road. So this is actually the one I'm going to keep. I'm going to get rid of the Ofna. Um, you know, because I'd rather put my money into the better one than you know put a bunch of money into a car that's not very good. All right, so we got to take this apart. A couple screws at the bottom. I got to adjust the brake. A lot of different things here, but yeah, like I said, I don't want to make sure I'm not tearing up gears. All right, there is the uh, center diff right there, and the gear, spur gear. So actually, I'm glad to take this out because I want to get rid of that rust. Didn't look too chewed up, the diff cups, so. All right, what if, I guess I should check to see if there's any, uh, yeah, these guys are really nice. Even that, it's like a CV joint, CV axle, you know. And got the diff off, separated. Take those four screws off and let's see what's inside there. It definitely feels like there's something in there though. I mean, it's not not like free spooling. Alright. Alright. Yeah. I mean, there's, at least there's something in there, but it's not. And that's supposed to be full. You know, like I said, this thing's probably been sitting for 10 to 15 years. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna service that. I'm gonna put some 7,000 in there. Um, I mean, I have uh, 3,000, 5,000, and 7,000. All right, so I have this thing disassembled, and I actually took out the rubber seals uh, because I'm gonna put those in some diesel right now, and I don't want those to swell when I reuse them. But diesel is an insane, insanely good solvent. It's not as volatile as gas, so I'm not worried about it blowing up as much like gas would be. Because this stuff is really hard to get off, this diff oil. The silicone-based diff oil. Um, I don't know, I'll throw those in there. Alright, cool. right, so if you're a hobbyist, you definitely need to have an ultrasonic cleaner. These are great. Put a link where you can get this one. Alright, this is my favorite part when you first turn it on. You can see the stuff coming right off of it. All right, I'm not sure if it's just me, but this spur gear doesn't seem like it goes on there. It's not the correct one for this car. The holes are at larger, like a larger diameter. And he had lock threads. Plus he had this plastic in there, like you, like you put a piece of plastic in there to fill up the space to tighten it up. But I noticed that it wasn't exactly uh, concentric. So yeah, everything he did seemed like it was half-assed. It it's annoying. All right. Alright, so back to the Spurger situation. So, Mugen's never actually had this removable spur gear. It was a one-piece unit, metal, for the uh, nitro, and the electric was uh, plastic. So this is aftermarket. I don't know if they're sure this is a Mugen brand, or Mugen part, but they did actually make an adapter so you could use like an Ofna spear gear. Now, this, like I said, this thing was sort of like a truggy. Like when I got this thing, it had truggy tires on it. And this is a truggy body right here. It's, it's, it's extended. I don't think the arms aren't, aren't truggy though. Um, so, I should probably count the teeth. So I'm, I'm guessing he changed the gear to match the tires. Like the truggy tires. So from the stock 46 tooth to whatever this is. And like I suspected, this is 51 teeth. Like I said, the stock is 46. Alright, so i got to figure out... I need to do this the right way, so I might have to drill this out to M4 because these are actually, these are already threaded for M4 so that's the way it looks so the problem is it wasn't sitting straight because it had the wrong sort of uh... you know, i got to drill this out to M4 and countersink it that way it actually sits the way it's supposed to sit alright, there it is, so I drilled it out and I uh, countersunk it so I can actually fit an M4 screw in there and it's designed like that so you keep this thing center. 
That's why the guy had the plastic bag in there. He actually did the plastic bag trick to try to center it out and uh, pick up the slot. But one of the things, I, like I said, I noticed that the spur gear was out of alignment. It was like that. So, all right. All right, I'm gonna try to get this on camera. What I mean by concentric, like it was wobbly before, because the guy's plastic worn out. And it was wrong screws. So by putting the right screws in there, it actually it's in counter thinking it levels it or makes it centered. Yeah, so I could feel it when it was meshing with that gear. It was like it would go from loose to tight. All right, so we'll just put it back together now, and then I'll show you the fluid, nice and clean. The gears, ultrasonic cleaned, nice and centered. All right, so I'm gonna be using the center or 700 in the center, or 7,000, 5,000, 3,000. So uh, 5,000 in the front. 7,000 in the center and 3,000 in the rear. This stuff's pretty thick. Let's fill it to the top. Let it soak in. Give it a couple minutes to soak in. Get the air bubbles out of there. Move it around a little bit. Okay. Okay, right, put a new gasket on. And then I'm going to go and close it up. Tap back on. All right, got it done. So at least now I'm never gonna have to wonder if this was done or not. All right, so it's the same thing for the front and the back. They're pretty much identical. Same thing, the different side. You're just gonna be using different fluid, different weights. All right, cool.